So check this out. I'm at one of the largest western red cedars in British Columbia. It's a, a red cedar that must be about 15 plus feet wide. Red cedar is considered the tree of life by many First Nations and it's fundamentally important as a keystone species in these old growth temperate rainforests used by a whole, whole host of wildlife and for cultural reasons for the indigenous. But this particular tree has something else really special. Come take a look with me. So if you take a look here, this western red cedar probably has the biggest hollow of any red cedar in the province that I know of. You could fit at least a dozen people in here. One of the key features of western red cedar as it becomes older is that there's an associated fungus that hollows it out. The tree still lives for centuries, millennia in fact, um, and it's a standing, and this one's a healthy cedar, but the hollow cedars then become roosting uh, trees for bats, um, the ones with smaller uh, entrances, not this one's got a big entrance, become uh, fundamental for hibernating bears. Uh, there have become a whole host of wildlife that use these giant hollow red cedars. But literally, you could have a little home or an office in this one. It's so big, it blows me away. Welcome in my temple.